Here we're given functions f of x and g of x defined by tables. f of x is the first table, g of x is the second table. We're asked to compute the first part, f of g of 5. When we work problems like this, we're going to start by computing the inside function first. So when I'm looking for g of 5, I'm looking in function g. When the input is 5, what is the output? The output is 2. So g of 5 equals 2. Now I want to take that result and use it as input into function f. So what I'm doing here is I'm computing now f of 2. So I'm using that output as input into function f. So I'm looking in function f at an input of 2. The output is 11. Therefore, f of g of 5 equals 11. So once you get the hang of these, they're pretty straightforward, but you need to be very careful with how you write things up. So an approach, as I've shown here, is completely acceptable, and I recommend that you use something similar. Let's look at the next one, f of g of 1. Again, we're going to do the inside first, and you need to write this down, g of 1. So when I look at 1 in function g, the output is 3. I'm going to take that result and use it as input into function f, so that result goes inside here. When I compute or try to evaluate f of 3, I'm looking for the output when the input is 3, which is 10. Therefore, f of g of 1 equals 10. So it's really a double function evaluation is what you're doing. Here we have g of f of 4. So I first compute the inside f of 4. I'm going to look in my function f. When the input is 4, the output is 8. I'm going to use that as input into function g. So g of 8. I'm looking in function g. Input of 8, output of 0. Now, what I want to do is look at the last one, f of f of 1. This is a little weird because I'm computing f of 1 and then putting that back into f, but that's okay. First, we're going to do f of 1. So when I look in function f, when the input is 1, the output is 4. Now I'm going to take that 4 and use it as input into function f. So now I'm going to look for the output that goes with an input of 4 in function f, and that is one that we've seen before, which is 8. And so f of f of 1 equals 8. And I realize I forgot to fill in the final result back here. g of f of 4 equals 0.